Well, welcome everyone to a part of the world where the game of football is so important. There is a, a healthy tension, great expectation building up here as we head towards kickoff. It's a bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for uh, a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. Notwithstanding that, there is a, a lovely backdrop here. The uh, ambience is good. There's a smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and the game will be underway very shortly. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing, and, and he's a proper leader now too. OK, interesting. The question, that's a foul. Milner. Money! And through to the goalkeeper. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Firmino. Looking for space out wide. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think. He hits it! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. That was created because of good lively movement which pretty much dictated the pass cuts it out now it's long and Dyke tries to get it forward quickly Jordan Henderson tries to dink it in and the defence can get it clear to clip it forward and out to safety he's got options in the box if he gets his head up Mane out of play for a goal kick Ward Prowse Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Romeu aimed long and direct. Ings plays it out to the wing. Southampton so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Fabinho has given away a free kick. Been lenient here, and can he get too many more chances? <laughs> 
Bednarek. And it's Romeu. Fence has got rid of that. Redmond. Now it's Ings. Ings crosses in a low one. That's gone a long way up and away. And Dyke goes looking. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And it's hoisted clear. Forward it goes. Ings. Lovely bit of skill there. Bertrand. And helps available out wide. Alexander Arnold cut out in the nick of time. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first. So off we go once more. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Mohamed Salah has been caught there, it's a foul. put it away he scored well that's what top players do they can seize the initiative almost single-handedly and that goal eases them in front once more to make this second half look a little more promising however they tried to stand in his way he just was not to be denied Mohamed Salah demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. Liverpool take the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Bednarek. Stevens. Hoiberg. Bednarek. Ward Prowse is demanding it out wide. You can get that clear. Romeo. Here it comes. Appearance and very necessary. And it's Ward Prowse. Shakes the shoots. No, just couldn't quite turn it in. Well, I thought the keeper was really confused as to what to do then, whether to come and take it or stay on his line, and yet in the end, he's allowed to get away with uh, a lot of indecision there. It's 
ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Playbird goes up and over. Ward Prowse. Long. Fires it in low. Can he put it away? Robertson. Mane. Milner. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Now it's Mane. Mane tries to get some whiff on it. Cleared without complication. Stevens. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Ings. Redmond. Cross deflected behind for a corner. And Dyke knocks it away. Southampton. Firmino is fouled. is relentless it's a very very high press yeah because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity a trigger by one player for the others to follow and designed to force opposition mistakes Ward Prowse Bednarek went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly final checks on the touchline a change about to occur. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Lobs it in gently. Southampton with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Ward Prowse with the short one. And it's Bertrand. Turns and goes back. Hits one! Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Out to the left it goes. Mane. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. And that's it. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that one crucial second-half goal. That's what cost them.